Hi and welcome back to the Auto Entrepreneur Serenity Club and today I wanted to give you a very short video on a subject that really drives a lot of you crazy and also me because I get the same questions obviously every day. So I wanted to really give you a very brief video, an update on your social charges. Now whether you're an auto entrepreneur or you have another different business model, this presentation is just going to give you an uh, overview of of the deadlines that you have. So as you know me, Tracy Lunetti, I'm about trying to make really your life as easier as possible and I will do your declarations for you and with you. But it is important that you understand the deadlines because I'm going to be chasing you for information. So let's take a look really, first of all, for the auto entrepreneurs. So if you have a new auto entrepreneur business, maybe I've set that up for you or maybe somebody else has and I'm just helping you after this. Just take a look here at the left hand column you will see if you started your business activity so uh, the first top left hand corner is all about your quarterly declaration so for the majority of you on my Serenity Club you're on quarterly declarations and it tells you in the left hand column when you started your activity so maybe you started your activity in May of 2017 which means then your first declaration will be made in October you can see this in the right hand column here October but you will include all your earnings from May through to the 30th of September which I will declare for you in October okay Maybe you set up your business in February of 2017, in which case anything between February and the 30th of June 2017 would be declared in July 2017 by myself. So that would be if you opted for quarterly declarations. If for a few of you amongst you, you have gone for monthly declarations, you choose the month in the left hand column when you set up your business. So for example, if you set it up in February, you would actually not make your first declaration up until June, but it would be from February to the end of May. Okay. So really the first thing to look at is whether you did a quarterly or a monthly um, option and then look in the left hand column to see when you set your business up and the, the dates then are given to when you will have to declare and what you will have to declare. Of course you will receive from me a reminder either be, via the newsletter or if you're on a monthly, I will also send you an email as well. So you will get a reminder from me. I could just emphasize, please, to any of you, if you are getting emails or newsletters from me, please open them because the information is only going to you my members and the information in there is pertinent to you so please do open them read or listen to the information I'm sending you so there you have it an overview for auto entrepreneurs on your declarations what has to be included and when the next slide is for people who are not auto entrepreneurs so there's a few of you in my membership I'm thinking particularly of Katie this is a question that came up on our call just recently Tim as well this would concern you um, really you are not on the auto entrepreneur fixed rate however you have deadlines as well so let's just quickly take a look the RSI the RSI what are you paying for of course for the majority it's sickness maternity invalidity and pension for a few of you um, really who pays um, obviously non-salaried professionals independence as you are often known as and when do you pay them the 5th of February May August and November and from the RSI you will receive a, a yearly breakdown they'll send you at the beginning of the year how much you have to pay but then they will all send you a reminder for your 5th of February May and August payments oops get rid of that for you um, so that is the RSI okay so you must remember that your your schedule that they will send you is broken down into four payments for the ERSAF so for the ERSAF they take off allocation familiale so that's anything to do with child benefits you pay into it even if you don't have children you pay into it CSG CRSD so this is about the national debt basically everybody pays into it again non-salaried professionals um, would pay the ERSAF 
and the deadlines are very similar to the RSI ones. I've written the fifth, it could be the sixth or the seventh, but it's round about the fifth of every trimester. And again, for the SF, you will receive a breakdown, um, a yearly breakdown, and then they remind you as well. You can have a direct debit for the SF, so it comes directly out of your bank account. You don't have to send a check. For the RSI, that is not possible for the moment. And the last category is the CPAV, which does not concern everybody, but it's basically for those who do not pay pension as part of the RSI. Extremely confusing for many people and quite understandably, they are possibly the most difficult organisation to deal with. And as you know, I'm speaking from experience. So pension for certain independent businesses um, is with the CPAV and you would receive normally a document from them. Unfortunately, they're very bad at this and you often have to chase them. They have basically payments every two, twice a year, April and October, but they also give the possibility to pay it on a monthly basis, which I would advise for you to do that. So there you have it. This is for the declarations for people who are not auto entrepreneurs. If you are an auto entrepreneur, you should not be looking at this. It's the slide beforehand. So that is it. It was very quick video on your social charges and when they need to be paid. And I hope that has made that clearer for you. If not, obviously, you can always come back to me with a question.